Uh, the Roman ballista was a truly amazing weapon. It was an ancient war machine, a piece of artillery. Think of it like a giant crossbow, but, you know, much, much bigger and far more powerful. The Romans used it in many battles, and it helped them conquer vast lands. This machine was a marvel of engineering, and it really struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. It was a key part of Rome's military might, dominating battlefields for centuries. The ballista was not just another weapon, it was a symbol of Roman ingenuity, and, honestly, it was a symbol of Roman power. When enemies saw a ballista, they worried. They knew what it could do. It could smash through wooden walls and it could launch deadly bolts great distances. Its reputation often preceded it. It was a psychological weapon too, a testament to Roman military thinking. Many people think ballistas were only for sieges. It's true, they were brilliant at breaking down forts. They could hurl heavy stones at enemy walls or they could fire large, sharp bolts. But Roman generals were clever and they found other uses for the ballista. It could be used in open field battles, targeting enemy formations or even commanders. This made it incredibly versatile. The ballista truly changed ancient warfare. Before it, sieges could last for years, and attacking a fortified city was very hard. The ballista gave the Romans an edge, allowing them to attack from a safe distance. It could punch holes in enemy defenses, and this innovation was a real game changer. Armies had to adapt to its presence. It was a weapon that reshaped history, and the Roman army became even more dominant. The Roman Empire was always expanding. Roman legions marched across Europe, Africa, and Asia. They met many different enemies, and some of those enemies had strong fortified cities. These cities had high walls and strong gates. Roman soldiers needed a way to break in. They needed a powerful siege weapon. The ballista was a perfect solution. It helped them overcome these tough defenses, and it was crucial for their territorial ambitions. Enemy fortifications were a big challenge. People built walls of stone and thick wood. They dug ditches and built towers. These defenses could stop an army. But the Romans were determined engineers. They knew they needed something special, a weapon to breach these strongholds. The ballista was designed for this task. It could systematically dismantle enemy defenses, giving the Romans the key to locked gates. The ballista was not just about physical destruction. It was also a tool of psychological warfare. Imagine you are a defender on a wall and you see the Romans setting up these giant machines. You know what's coming next. Huge bolts or stones will fly towards you. And the sound of the ballista firing was terrifying. The impact was devastating. This fear could break an enemy's will to fight. Sometimes the mere sight of ballistas was enough. Beyond sieges, the ballista supported Roman legions in open battles where it could be very useful. It could fire into enemy ranks, breaking up their formations, making them easier for the legionaries to attack. It could provide covering fire, protecting Roman soldiers as they advanced or as they built their own siege works. It was an integral part of Roman tactics, a force multiplier for the legions. So, what did a Roman ballista look like? Well, it was a large, impressive machine. It resembled a giant crossbow, as we've said. Usually it was mounted on a wooden frame. Sometimes this frame had wheels for mobility and other times it was a fixed emplacement. It had two strong arms like a bow held in a sturdy central structure. A slider ran down the middle to guide the projectile. It was clearly a weapon built for serious power. The Romans used strong materials to build ballistas. The main frame was made of good quality wood oak or ash were common choices. These woods were tough and resilient, but the most important parts were the springs. These were not metal coils like modern springs. Instead, they used torsion power. Bundles of animal sinew or hair were twisted tightly, and these sinew ropes stored immense energy. Metal parts reinforced joints and moving components. How did this incredible machine actually work? The principle was quite clever using torsion. Those tightly twisted bundles of sinew were key. The two arms of the ballista were inserted into these. When the arms were pulled back, the sinew twisted even more, storing a massive amount of potential energy. A winch, a kind of crank, was used to pull back a strong drawstring engaging the arms. The projectile, a bolt or stone, was then loaded. It was a complex system, but, you know, very effective. Once loaded, the ballista was ready to fire. The crew would aim the machine carefully, often adjusting the stand. When the trigger was released, it was dramatic. The twisted sinew ropes unwound with huge force, snapping the arms forward powerfully. The drawstring propelled the projectile and it flew at high speed towards the target. 
ballistas could be surprisingly accurate and their range was truly impressive for the time. Using a ballista in battle required a trained crew. It was not a weapon one soldier could operate alone. A team was needed to load it, to wind the winch and pull back the heavy string and to aim this powerful machine. Positioning was also very important. Commanders would place ballistas strategically, usually on high ground if possible, or where they had a clear line of sight. They needed protection, as they were valuable assets. In sieges, the ballista truly shone. Its main job was to break down enemy defences. Stone projectiles could hammer city walls, gradually weakening them until they crumbled. Large, iron-tipped bolts could clear ramparts, making it dangerous for defenders to show themselves. They could also target gates or destroy enemy war machines on the walls. The ballista was a relentless attacker, pounding the enemy into submission. We have historical accounts of ballistas in action. The Jewish historian Josephus wrote about them. He described their use by the Romans during the siege of Jerusalem, for example, and at the famous siege of Masada. Josephus noted their terrifying power. He told how ballista bolts could kill men instantly, even at considerable distances. These accounts show how effective they were. They were not just legend. They were real battlefield threats. The ballista had a huge impact on Roman military success. It gave Roman armies a significant advantage, especially in siege warfare, which was common. It allowed them to conquer fortified cities, which might otherwise have been impossible to take. The ballista demonstrated Roman engineering skill. It showed their ability to create advanced technology and its design influenced later siege weapons, even into the Middle Ages. The Roman ballista was a true icon of ancient military might.